Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to be perming her hair today. Look at how, how nice and beautiful and thick it is. It's gorgeous. So we're gonna ask you a little, a few questions about your natural wave. Okay, so what is it like usually? You, you said that it waves in some areas, but not in others. What do you find it? Right, so a uh, beautiful sort of beach wave, if you could sort of use that as a, a premise, but with age, it's uh, not holding it even as nicely anymore. Okay, so. so what areas are particularly flat for you? What are you finding? Yeah, so right around, you know, the crown area, I think, is more so where, you know, you can scrunch it or if you're using lots of product, but the Jacqueline before had, you know, wake up and go hair. And oh, wait. okay, yes, <laughs> so we want wake up and go hair. So today's video is actually going to be a really quick one. There's a really easy way to bring back that natural wave without being overly complicated. I have it sectioned out here on the mannequin, but I'll show you this a little bit more detailed on her head because it is so thick. It's only gonna take eight perm rods, these big flexible guys, and it's gonna be super quick. And then we're also gonna give her a nice haircut to bring in and accentuate some of that wave and texture. We are gonna have to cut off a little bit of her hair. I'm gonna show you a little close up later, but she does have a little bit of splitting, or whatever you wanna call a little. <laughs> yeah, two it's, gonna need, it's gonna need a cut. <laughs> I trust you completely. So we're gonna, have, yeah, we're gonna have to take off a fair bit. And you, I don't know if you can see from over there, I will show you a close up. But to check split ends, um, anything that's completely see through is now compromised, so we're gonna have to get rid of that stuff. So we're actually, we're gonna do the cut first. How do you find your fullness of hair? Do you love it? Do you love it. You love it, okay. I'm, yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's a nice compliment whenever I go and have my hair done. People are always like, oh my goodness, you have so much hair. Um, every once in a while, you get it texturized or what have you, but uh, no. Okay. But I no. like knowing that I have lots of hair. But so we'll be right back. I am gonna wash her. Uh, first, actually, I'm gonna cut her. I'm gonna wet her down a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back on so you can see what her natural texture looks like before we section her out for the perm. So this is her hair all blown out. You can see on her ends here, we're going to have to take off a fair bit. Because again, for those of you that don't remember, the split end test, when you hold it up to the light, uh, hang on a second, it's kind of hard to see there. All right, there. You can see everything that's see-through. What's happening is that's the interior structure that's now compromised. It's no longer holding any pigment. Split ends travel so we can see as we hold it up how much needs to come off. So we're going to cut all that off today. Now for cut, what we're going to do is you can see it already has a V type shape. We're going to keep it cut that way. Um, if we wanted to square it out, we'd have to take it up to about here because this part is dead which would make it way too short. So we're just gonna keep the structure of the haircut as it is. So here it is all cut. So this is what her texture looks like. We just washed it. You can see it's fairly straight. It has a little bit of a kink in it, but that's about it. I'm gonna be right back once we have it all rolled and I'll show you all of the sectioning pattern. Now here's the head all sectioned out. In total, you're gonna have eight sections. It's important to note that we're going to be using diagonal parting so that when you let the hair down, it's going to give a very diffused finish. That being said, the partings don't have to be sectioned perfectly or have a really, really clean line because again, with curls, it's all going to fall together anyways, so it's not that huge of a deal. The one thing you do want to consider is that the rollers are quite large. So you do want the sections to be relatively the same size so that the rollers sit right on base and that they're not interfering with the other rollers that are around it. So I have a couple of her rollers in. I just wanted to show how we're gonna roll it. You have to be cognizant of which way you want the, gr the curl to go. So if you look at this one here, I have it rolled back because we wanna have that kind of lift there, right? Same thing with the front one. And you wanna have the hair really, really wet so that it makes it easier to get the ends into the roller. These are your traditional rollers and we're not using any perm papers. You want to make sure you get all of the ends in, tucked in like so, so that you don't have any fish hooks on the end. There's nothing worse than a kinky perm. Keep rolling. There. 
it like that. And then you're just going to turn it gently because it is tight, so you don't want to pull the hair. Just like that. And then the sides, I want to over direct the hair upwards like this and kind of go diagonally at an angle. And again, comb it from the top, comb it from the bottom. Get everything straight. And then I'm going to roll it this way. just like that and then you're just going to continue to roll the rest of the head okay here it is all wrapped you can see how nicely they're all sitting together these are a little tricky because there is really no way of wrapping them or folding them like this one you just have to jujitsu them around the head so that they all balance and stay nice and tight So this is it. Just gonna let it process with a sexy cap on. Here's the hair freshly out of the rollers. You can see how much more texture it has. This is gonna be a beautiful light beachy wave. Okay, so you can see here the texture is beautiful. I did power dry it a little bit because you don't want the hair to be sopping wet. You've heard me say it before and I'll say it again. Hair is like a sponge. If it's really wet with water, it's not gonna absorb any product. So when you're styling it, Curl is unique because it has mango seed butter in it, which is really emollient. Curly hair needs that extra emolliency to really form. So I have her head tilted back a little bit. I'm just going to scrunch the product in. The best way to apply product to any hair is how you're going to wear it. So because she's going to be wearing it with this curl, we're going to just scrunch it in. Obviously, if her hair was going to be straight, we'd be smoothing the product in. So we just want to make sure we get a healthy amount all over. Now, she is someone that doesn't like to wear a ton of product in her hair. Curl is unique because the more you layer in, the firmer it dries, so we're just going to put in a little bit less. But we still want to make sure the hair is evenly coated. But Jacqueline, yeah, if you ever wanted that crazy big amplified hair, you just have to put in more. <laughs> more. And then it's also nice too because you'll notice that tomorrow, all you have to do is add a little bit of water and you can be rework that style. Okay, let's just start with that and see. That's probably good. So now, obviously, we don't want gravity to pull it down, so we're going to bunch it in a really not-so-organized way and just clip it so it stays for when it's under the dryer. There. Does that feel pretty secure? Fabulous. Okay. And honestly, this is going to dry beautifully. You don't want it to have any kind of organized rhyme or reason because curly hair doesn't like that. They like to just be on their own. <laughs> there, okay, 360. Now we're going to put her under the hooded dryer. Here we are. We have it all done. You can see there's a lot of body in it. Nice and beachy all over. So tell us about how it's different from your hair before the perm. Sure. Well, I mean, first and foremost, it just feels fabulous. It feels lighter. Um, but what I really appreciate is that it's been a while since I've been able to just sort of wash and go. And, you know, the natural feeling um, of the curl all over, and I, I know it's going to hold, and it just, this is what it should be like, for oh. sure. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. So if you have any questions about the technique that we used or anything we said in the video, just leave a comment below. Uh, do subscribe to our channel because we release new videos every Friday. And other than that, we will see you next week. Bye. Thank Yay. you. <laughs>